Hello everyone to the 12cad.com series of tutorials for PCB design and layout. Today we are going to dive deeper into the schematic window, especially how to add components, um, how that window works, how to choose a component, um, what the diagrams mean, and more. So in the previous tutorials we covered um, how to create a project, how to create schematics, um, and finally all the various options and menus available in the schematic window. Today we're going to dive deeper into one option which is on the left where my mouse is, it's add a part. We need to add a part or add a component and so if we open and click this window we can see a large list of various libraries we have available. In a previous tutorial we um, learned how to add a sparkfun.com library to our uh, eagle and so we can see here we have um, analog integrated circuits, we have capacitors, we have resistors and much more. So today I'm going to show you the capacitor and resistors since they are the simplest to explain. Um, so we have here capacitor. If I um, expand this uh, menu I have a large list of capacitors. Now the benefit of this is that at sparkfun.com you can actually go and purchase these capacitors so you can add them to your design and later just go and purchase them directly from Sparkfun which is very simple and um, easy to do. So now there's a lot of values here as we see but since we're creating a PCB you can either create a SMD PCB or a um, standard um, PCB. So an SMD PCB or SMD capacitors, SMD resistors, which are have the footprint like so on the right here. So in this window we have, on the left window, we have the uh, schematic representation of a capacitor, just like in a circuit. And on the right we have the physical representation, how the capacitor will actually sit on a PCB board. As, as you can see, it's really small because you have a scale here, one millimeter. So it's a very small component. And on the bottom here, we have what kind of package it is. Now, there's multiple types of packages. You have 0402, which is the smallest type of resistor. Um, you have 0603, which is a bit bigger. Then you have 0805, and then you have 1206, um, and so on. So the size decreases. Um, from 0402 to the 1200s. So, and in this bottom window, we have the name of the um, capacitor and the value. However, note that you do not care about the value because, as we learned in a previous tutorial, you can change the value. It is just a representation. Um, what's important is on the left here, you see that it says. 0.1 microfarad at 100 volts with 10%. So these numbers, 100 volts and 10% are important. So you need to pick the right um, voltage for your capacitor. However, I, I always just have one capacitor, one resistor um, part that I always use. And it's um, just a standard one, 0402. Um, 0.1 microfarad capacitor. I like the 402s because they are small um, and they take up less space in your PCB which at the end when you manufacture it saves you money. So in general you see that we have the layout of how the component will be sh shown on your PCB. Um, we can also do the same for resistors. If I go into the resistor library you can see now that you have 0.001 ohm 3 watt so resistors are more of wattage whereas capacitors are voltage and you see the various sizes you have 0805, 2010, um, I like 0402s as I said or 0603s also works nicely um, but you can see on the right there is the resistor symbol and here is your actual physical representation of your resistor on the PCB and there's more information here as you can see. In addition to that you also have the opportunity to use standard resistors um, that are not um, the smaller kind for PCBs, um, which actually might be beneficial for beginners because um, it is hard to solder the small uh, 
SMD resistors to your board and take some practice. So if you just want to create a final product, a final um, I, uh, design with just standard resistors you can buy, for example, a Radio Shack, then there's specific PCB um, components for that. And you can see here it's called the PTH library. Um, there's various ones, but let's just look at this one. One kilo ohm quarter watt PTH. This is the exact amount of resistor you can actually go to Radio Shack and buy right now. So a quarter watt, one kilo ohm, and you can see the representation on the right is a resistor. But now you can see two green vias. A via is a um, tech, um, in general, a hole through your PCB that has that has the connections through it. Um, because uh, 0402, 0603 SMD resistors do not have um, are are flat. They do not have. Um, pins that drop down there is no such thing as a via for those but here we have a via and um, which is simple because now we can take this and it's much easier to solder you can put the two ends of the resistors through two of these vias and then solder it and it cut off the ends from the bottom so it's uh, really simple and if you're getting started I recommend creating your first PCB with um, the uh, through hole uh, resistors so also available to us is a search um, box where because as you get better in designing you're going to have a lot more libraries and it's hard to keep track of where everything is so it's just easier to have a search. So for example I can type in here resistor which is what I'm looking for and it'll give me every single library that has a resistor um, um, package in it, a component. So I can see okay spark fun resistor and now we are we have a large choice of resistors just like before so we can choose which one we want and this is really beneficial so now what we can do is we can choose our resistor for example I will choose the um, PTH the axial so the ones the PTH resistors we talked about that are simple to solder and I will um, press OK as soon as I press OK you see the resistor appears on the schematic window you can click down and put it into your schematic window and it comes back after you press after you're done you just press escape and it comes back to the add window where I can add more I can add for example a capacitor and as you see there's cap and I can add a, for example a standard capacitor just add that in there and I then I press escape and I'm back here now when I'm done I just press cancel and now I can make my electrical connections which we discussed in a, uh, the previous tutorial so so today in general we discussed uh, how to add a part add a component to your schematic what the different windows mean in the add a component window um, how to search for your specific part you need and in just basically we discussed the different part sizes. So you have 0402, 0603, 0805, 1210, or axial or PTH for the simple simpler resistors and capacitors. So thank you for listening and if you are, have any confusion please leave a comment or visit the previous tutorials. Thank you.